that, let's quickly walk through what you will learn in this program. As I said, it is meant to be holistic. Um, obviously, uh, you know, we're giving you a taste of various different perspectives. Um, you will learn the foundations of the public cloud um, with a focus on the AWS platform. The way we think about it is AWS is your medium of instruction. You have to learn all of how a cloud um, environment works, how do you build it, how do you troubleshoot it, how, what are all the various moving parts and components and the only way to do that is using a particular public cloud platform and because AWS is still the market leader and the dominant platform that's what we, we focus all our early energy on. But very quickly we will also give you a different perspective which is once all of this is, uh, system is set up how do you develop applications on the cloud, how do you continuously integrate and deploy applications um, on the cloud, how do you automate this entire chain? How do you do DevOps? Um, you know, are both using um, the public cloud services available within AWS or Azure, um, but also equally, how do you do it without? Right? Because you don't have to use all of these services. Um, and and once you have a, a, a clear understanding of these different perspectives and and a comfort with AWS, we will then cover an alternative public cloud platform. Um, in this case, Microsoft Azure, so that you do so that the world of public cloud is not just AWS to you, um, so that you you start to see uh, different ways of doing the exact same thing. Now, Microsoft Azure and AWS are not the only two public cloud platforms. There are certainly many others, but but these are the two dominant ones, and and therefore we we focus all of our energy uh, from a public cloud perspective on this. And once you've learned these two pers three perspectives, um, you know now we get into uh, you know, you, you now have all the foundational elements to start building solutions yourself. Right? Understanding how um, to use containers and microservice architectures to deploy applications. How do you um, use various higher order services like big data and analytics services? What are the choices and trade-offs in solution building? If I came to you and said as, hey, as a solutions architect, I'm, you know, uh, we are starting an analytics division within our company. Um, what are the technology requirements for this, right? If I came and asked you such a question, how would you go about doing it? Or if I was a company that said, hey, I, you know, we've built um, a, a lot of educational content, now we want to uh, roll it out across 100 different countries. Um, and by the way, most of these are videos. How do you build a content distribution network? Um, how do you build, um, you know, a payment gateway? These are various ways, and, and what are the services you would use? What would you not use? How would you, you know, put these things together, that solution building, right? And, the, and that really is what will differentiate somebody who, who knows, um, you know, just the basics uh, of, of how do you build a cloud and, and maintain a cloud uh, kind of an environment from somebody who is, um, you know, truly knowledgeable about all the different moving parts and is able to make clear and well thought out choices on behalf of the company. And the latter is the one who's going to command more of a premium, who's going to get the choices roles, who's going to become a solution architect. Now, having covered all of these different perspectives on the public cloud, there is yet another way of thinking about uh, um, the cloud, which is the private cloud, right? So then we focus a lot of our energy on how do you use OpenStack tools to build a private cloud. And finally, we, we, we take a lot of the architect's perspective, right? Um, adoption of the cloud, what are the cost implications? What are the trade-offs? What are the migration issues about how do I move all of my existing infrastructure onto the cloud? How do I move my existing data onto the cloud? Um, and there is a, a fair bit of real world context as well. Right? We do run workshops to help you in your quest for certification, which while I said it's not enough, it is table stakes and it needs to be done. Uh, so some of you will go and do it and some of you, um, and we will run a workshop or two on that. Um, we will do something it, uh, to demystify some of the career opportunities, giving you some clarity on what kind of roles are available and how do you go about um, succeeding in them. Uh, and giving you a taste of practical issues, right? How do you actually uh, do solution building? What are the implications from a consulting perspective? A lot of the cloud um, computing you learn in this program is from a system building perspective, but how would you do an equivalent thing from a consulting perspective?